for we are to God the fragrance of Christ. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 15. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Topper and this is Top Notes by Topper. So if today is the first time you see my face, I'm a fragrance reviewer from Lagos, Nigeria and I will be elated if you subscribe to my channel. Today in the video, I have um, a review of a Middle Eastern scent which is a dupe of another scent and I'm, I have a side-by-side -side review of both scents. So if you're interested in knowing what those two scents are without much ado let's get into the video welcome back guys so if you're not subscribed to my channel why don't you click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you are always notified when i upload a new video today in the video i am tell, going to tell you about this scent right here which is identity so this is from the emir collection of paris corner and this is identity unique portrait okay and this is supposed to be a dupe of um portrait of a woman i'm going to the picture up here but i have a sample here to share and put side by side i also have two pieces of papers here that i will you know use to smell them so i'm going to start with the og which is the portrait of a lady if um yeah i want to just read out the so portrait of a lady has notes of rose clove raspberry karen cinnamon patchouli incense sandalwood and then base notes of mask benzoin and amber okay great i just quickly wanted to drop my laptop so i'm going to spray it here. i have a small um sample of it and i did i say that i bought this perfume from perfumes for less ng and she was kind enough to also send me this sample because she knew that i would love to do the side by side comparison okay so i'm going to spritz this here wow even the atomizer on the sample is fantastic yep so this is a beautiful slightly sweet the first thing that comes to my nose is rose it's sweet but it has like some slight warm spiciness to it. Yep. And then it gets slightly the spiciness, the warm spiciness I'm thinking is the cloves, is the cinnamon that's coming up to it. It's really, really beautiful. The reason why I'm smiling is that. <laughs> okay. It's really nice. The rose gets a bit sweeter, a bit more jammy. You smell the incense is coming in now yep there's this tartness or slight bitterness that i get mm. this is nice i'm not a fan of portrait of a lady but this is really nice so i have portrait of a lady here let me put portrait of a lady on it so that i'm sure and then for this i haven't been able to get the notes on it all they said was it was inspired by portrait of a lady okay so i mean this is it and um this is what it looks like this is the cover the cover doesn't okay well but it's not you see exactly and so i won't hold it by it the atomizer is black what i would say is that i didn't really like the atomizer i expert see it has this weirdness to it like short sprays and it's very you know you see it didn't get wet okay so that whoops it fell so i can show you see okay so you see that with the portrait of the lady the og when i spritzed it immediately it was the paper was wet so see can you see even at close contact can you see it doesn't get wet it you know it it just missed it missed everything okay okay great so I need to let it dry because what I'm smelling now is very okay. So this starts off sweet. There's a citrusness like bergamot or something that it starts with. Then the rose begins to come in. But this rose is more of like a citrus rose than a sweet jammy rose. This rose here is too is slightly light and airy. Immediately, I don't get spiciness from here like I get from there. So from the citrus and um, rose, the next thing I go into is incense. And then 
some better woodiness like I had in the other one. But to be honest, right, in the air, identity smells very, very, first of all, this smells not as sophisticated, as expensive as this one. But I know that I have worn this and somebody has thought I was wearing portrait of a lady. So I know that it smells very much like it. I don't know how they did it, but in the air, it gets the general, or in sillage, it gets the general feel. But the moment you put it side by side, you're able to tell, yep, portrait of a lady is very deep. It's very, so, okay, let me say this. Portrait of a lady here is very, the rose is jammy. The incense is deep and dark and mysterious. It's very put together and well blended. Portrait of the uh, portrait, unique portrait on the other hand, is very fruity. It's it's lighter and it, it feels like it's a old fresh version of portrait of a lady. Yes. So the unique portrait to my nose, unique identity, unique portrait. It smells more like an old fresh version of portrait of a lady. It doesn't smell inferior. It just feels like this is. A street the perfume and this is like all fresh version so it smells a bit watered down not in a bad way it feels like this is the bad boy for autumn winter and this is for like spring and summer version of um portraits of a lady so it feels like that's how it is it's not it's not bad at all and again longevity wise i know that portrait of a lady has a good longevity i haven't tried it but this one doesn't you need to con continually need to we spritz, but in the air, in sillage, they smell very, very much alike. Um, unique portraits last on my skin for like two to three hours, four hours max, and I need to re-spray. It has a great projection, which is like moderate projection. It projects for the first 30 minutes, and then, I, but I want to also believe that sometimes I get nose blind on it. Because the two times that I've worn it, people have asked me in the supermarket what I was wearing. It was in that same supermarket that somebody was like, oh, remind me, remind me, it's a Frederick Mall. So I'm sure it's somebody that really uses Portrait of a Lady. And the person was so sure that it was Portrait of a Lady. So you understand? That's how it goes. It's a really nice scent. I, initially, I wasn't really freaked about it. But I, I, you see, and this um, quantity that I've used to tells to the fact that it doesn't really last and I have to reapply, but I enjoy it. Especially now that it's warm and hot around where I am in Lagos. I really, really, truly enjoy this scent. So this has been my two cover on these two fragrances, putting them side by side. I can't say too much about the portrait of a lady because I haven't had a full wear of it. It's just what I can tell you from just because honestly, I'm not one that likes to review fragrances from this. Because this is, uh, pa, 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 pa. this cannot be anything more than, yep, 1.2 ml. And I think at my average spray of a perfume, I spray like 3 ml straight. So I spray like three of this. I think this 1.2 ml has like five sprays on it. And if I'm at somewhere that's called that's 15 sprays of a perfume, I won't be able to, I do about 10 to 15 really. So I will. 15 is not really 1.2 ml is not enough for me to judge um, i may be wrong you can also comment in the comment section if you think i have a point there but that's what i think i think it's not fair that i'll judge this on this level and then with this i can have general sprays of it and i don't think it's a fair judge of it but just for you to get the tea and the idea of what this is giving that's why i was able i wanted to have that thank you so much for our, to our friends at perfumes for less ng thank you so much i bought the perfume but i got the frederick mall 1.2 ml sample for free and for how much this cost this was a very great gift because if i divide the cost um a 50 ml bottle of it cost to like 167,000 naira. so if i divide 50 by 167 i'm sure that um, um, what you call it? It's like an ML is about 32,000 Naira, which I'm grateful that she sent to me. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any comments, if you have tried any of Paris Corner's new fragrances, 
don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.